Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. You have to do the work. I'm going to tell you what. Here's the thing with life. No matter what you want, no matter what you have to accomplish, uh, whatever you desire, you still got to work for it. Nobody can just sit on their buns and just sit back and hope something come for them. Shoot. Even even lottery winners and stuff, they still had they still had to play the lottery. They still had to go to the store, right? And even then, they still got to do some work even after they win. But in life, you can get anything you want, provided you work for it. If you want a better relationship, you're gonna have to work. If you want to have better health, you're gonna have to work on that health. Yeah, we know you, we, you want that extra sugar or something, but you want to put it to the side. Or that extra meat, you want to get a little bit extra at that buffet, well, you got to lose some weight, well, you got to work on it. That's work. If you want to kick an addiction to anything, you have to do the work. That's the only way. That's the only way. You know, whatever, I don't care what it is in life. Even if it's easy, it's still work. You know, some work can be easy, but that's good. But you still have to take action. And this is very important. This is very important because I I will constantly hear, like, okay, like one of the things that um, I will say bugs me, you know, it bugs me when I hear it. When somebody has a great idea for a business, a vocation, anything, I mean, great, you sitting there like, oh, wow. I mean, like, shoot, you trying to figure out how you can help them, but they don't take any action towards it. You know, they want to write that great American novel, but they don't take any action towards it. Or they got, they, you know, want to have a business where they sharing like, I don't know, their their pies with the world or something. And you had some of that pie. That pie was good. Man, you had to break your diet to eat that pie. The pie was so good. You were licking your fingers. (laughs) But they don't do anything to like, uh, they don't do the work to really take it to another level, you know? And you see that so often. Or someone's on a job and they don't do anything extra. They could they could be in a bigger position, make more money, but they don't, they don't want to do anything beyond the basics. Look, if you want something in life, you got to work for it. There's no ifs, ands, and buts. I mean, you, I don't care what your spiritual system is. You can pray all day. You can pray. You can dance. Whatever your spiritual system call for, you know. You know, lay out, you know, like, add some incense, sage, all that burning. You can do all of that. You still got to work for it. You still got to do something, you know. You might, you might pray. You might pray for, like, that late model car. It ain't going to just show up. You got to get a job, get the money, get the way to pay for that darn car. You don't have to do it. But here's the beauty of working for something. Here's the beauty. Nothing's more satisfying than when you get something that you truly put in the work for. You truly put in the blood, sweat, tears, whatever. It's like people who are entrepreneurial. Being an entrepreneur is not easy. That is a tough lifestyle. That's a tough lifestyle because it's never a straight path to success. You go through a lot. You go through you go through some tough times and everything. But because you worked at that business, you worked on, you did everything you had to do. You might have worked that business and had to work two other jobs to keep it going. You know, you might have to sacrifice a lot. You know, you can't get those new shoes. You might have to wear those shoes until they just can't be worn anymore, you know. Can't be eating at those expensive restaurants. You might have to hit some of those corner joints or something, get some takeout. Or shoot, you might have to hit like an inexpensive uh, grocery store and find stuff on sale, right? You got to do a lot. But because you're working for it, when you get that victory, nothing feels better. (laughs) Nothing. Nothing feels better because it's like you accomplish something. You could just sit back and you just like, Wow. You're smiling. You're patting yourself on the back. You're popping your collar. But you have to work to get there. And you have to you have to love work. You have to be willing to work. You know? You have to be. And like I said, even if it's something easy to do, it's still work. You still got to take action. You still got to do it. 
So you have to do the work. And that and that was just with a job, making money. You know, say you do, I mentioned addiction briefly. What if you have a major addiction? And it could be anything from drugs to food to sex uh, to watching some dumb TV show. <laughs> and you realize this ain't working. This ain't working for you. That's work to break it. And that's re- that, and now that is work. Because anybody who's really gone through an addiction and trying to break the addiction, they can tell you. I salute them. Because that is serious work. Because you're going against your very urges in your body. You know. You know you shouldn't be, you know, you're diabetic, shouldn't be eating sugar as much. But it's hard to give up that, uh, it's hard to give up that donut. It's hard. Or that pie. <laughs> it's hard. It's tough. It seriously is. Or, you know, whatever whatever the addiction is, it's tough. That's some that's that's real work. That's real work. And, you know, anybody who's going through any addiction that's listening to the sound of my voice, um, I just have to pray for you. Pray that you keep that strength up. Because that's very important. But that's work. Whatever, whatever. But the reward is worth it. If you if you create that business, the reward is worth it. If you break that addiction, overcome it, the reward is even better than the business in my in my view. Whatever it is, whatever it is, it could you know it could be work putting together like an old car or something. It's worth it though. As you driving down the highway, you know with one arm on the steering wheel, you leaning back, smiling. <laughs> whatever it is, okay. So I want people to understand that. I don't care what it is. You have to do the work. It's necessary. It's, it's, uh, it's holy. It really is. It's holy. Like, yes, you can pray. You should pray. But prayer just opens the door. You still have to walk through it. You still have to walk through it. You still, it's like opening the door to a house. Well, the house might not be in best shape. You might have to clean up or something. But there's nothing wrong with that. Whatever you have to do. But just just work. Work. Enjoy it. It's part of life. Shoot, make it fun. Make it fun because you got to do it anyway. So that's all I got for now. I'll talk to you all later. Think on what I'm saying. Keep rising and transforming. Peace. <laughs>